announce your winner at the 20th anniversary of Intercept. And she's going to get it. Gecko Holt in her second start is going to win here at the Milwaukee Mile. He got the chicken flag. Jack Drum wins the whole 350 for Trackhouse Racing. Hello, it's Cookie. Welcome to the sixth race of the Hertz Truck Series for the Procore Truck Race on Dirt. Oh, sorry, go. This winner, Juan Carlos Espinosa, your pole sitter, along with Hunter Smith for our front row seaters. to do this for three laps, if I recall. And this is the first time that we're doing some dirt racing with the trucks at Oswego. It's been a long time since we've seen some dirt truck racing, but we're green for a Procore truck race on dirt. slot. Double free wide going on. More than double, but yeah. Still hasn't gone lap yet. This time he is clear for the lead. Really right in front of the 77. Captured his lap at lap 6. Caution's out. Hunter Smith is, was involved. Oh, he is stunned for. This truck is smoking. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Unfortunate, but Hunter Smith is out of this race. Due to some wreck that he was involved. But, uh. And he was racing at, at the top three. I don't know if it's seen during the race, but I must have uh, missed the 38 crashing somewhere, but we'll show the replay to see what happened to uh, Hunter Smith. The part where Hunter Smith's truck has started to uh, smoke out of nowhere, it happened before he got spun out by some truck driver and that driver would be Sustry as Hunter was trying to uh, go low to the uh, pits but unfortunately didn't see the 99 from his left side mirror so he ended up spinning because of that and yeah that's really all there is to it. I mean, 
small incident based on the driver uh, with their medical issues on their truck. But yeah, that's all I have to say about that. So uh, yeah, really unfortunate for the front row seater, but we're going to move on from this race and uh, see what happens next. At Oswego, we're back, and we've got Durrani as the leader, pace car to the pits, as we're green for the second time. One truck, tri truck driver out of the pits, to a piston issue. Juan Carlos to the inside. It's the battle between those two Chevys. Continue on with your battle. The lead. Juani already went further ahead of the Silver 7. So it was Oscar's turn to move to second. Good season so far. It has been a rough time for him, but he's been starting to uh, improve lately since the Indianapolis race. So he finished uh, last. He was uh, dead last due to some wreck. He's trying to uh, look for just a top five, top three finish or a big win. Just to uh, not get closer to the dead last of the standings. But yeah, we'll see how his performance goes as we go. 77 staying to the inside again. Spot to Oscar. Went to turn three and four. Juan is side by side with 88. Now to turn one and two. He has returned to second, but not clear yet until now. Carlos back at second. Oscar is not giving up in his position that easily. Let's 
check in how he's checking on what's here. He is barely trying to stay on the top 10. And his teammate seems to, uh, wants to stay at 10th. Because, uh, for Christopher, he's also part of the top 3. So yeah, um, these trucks are the guys. Both Christopher and Bobby might surpass uh, Stapleton. Stapleton is uh, dead last. Edging to be the last to be exact. Four laps to go. Juan Carlos back to the lead. Oscar returned to second. Now he needs to focus on the 77. Three laps to go. One lap to go. But, uh, we might as well just get second place. Coming on for turn four, Juan Carlos Espinosa is the first truck driver to go back to back at Oswego. Down to our dream winner, and now he is the poor car truck race winner at Oswego. So, congrats to 77 Spire driver. And now we get some results. Give me a sec. Okay. Juan Carlos first. Look at how they slide. Anyway, 77 first. Ryan Durrani, second, Sam Oskin, third, Daniel Mochini, fourth, Tyler Belladonna, fifth, Skylar Taylor, sixth, Caitlin Luna, seventh, Sebastian Palmer, eighth, Christopher, ninth, and Aaron Abel, tenth. And then the rest of the results is there from 11th to 22nd. And Bruno D. Giacomo was apparently out due to a camshaft issue in the middle of the race. I don't, I don't know if that's during the caution or during the race, but... Either way, that sucks for uh, Bruno, but... Next race... Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna have to... Look at the schedule, as always. Just give me a sec. Okay, next race is going to be at Dover International Speedway for the Solo Tees 200. Yes, I call it Dover International Speedway. Fuck you, SMI. You know, but yeah. That's coming up until October 12th, which is Saturday. Well, yeah, that's all I gotta say, so. Thank you for watching, and one last time, congrats to Juan Carlos as your winner for the second time, and I will see you all later. Peace.